Welcome to CUHK. My name is Siu Eng. I'm a gastroenterologist and a clinician scientist at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. My name is Qing Liu, a postdoc at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. We are delighted to share our work to be published in GUT that's entitled Gut Microbiota Dynamics in a Prospective Cohort of Patients with Post-Acute COVID-19 Syndrome. As you know, COVID-19 has affected more than 430 million people worldwide, leading to almost 6 million deaths. In the early pandemic, our group discovered that patients with COVID-19 have altered gut microbiota discomposition associated with severity, but a substantial number of patients develop complications known as post-acute COVID-19 syndrome, which can last weeks and months after the original infection. Now, the reason we did this study is because the underlying mechanism for development of post-acute 19 syndrome is still unclear, and there's increasing evidence linking gut microbiota dysbiosis with this syndrome. Several studies have indeed shown substantial involvement of the GI tract in COVID-19, including enhanced ACE2 expression in the GI tract with people with gut microbiota perturbations. So we know the gut is one of the largest immunological organs in the human being and may affect the recovery process of our patients. So the aim of this study is to study alterations of the gut microbiota in association with post-COVID-19 syndrome. Let me talk about the results of this study. Among 106 patients, PEX was reported in over 76% of COVID-19 patients at six months. The most common symptom at six months were fatigue, poor memory, anxiety, and hair loss. We analyzed longitudinal gut microbiome of COVID-19 patients with or without developing PEX at six months. We saw patients without PACS showed recovered gut microbiome comparable to that of non-COVID-19 controls, but patients with PACS still remain distinct to non-COVID-19 controls at six months. We next look at the makeup of gut microbiome to see if it was associated with different categories of symptom. AT1 bacteria species was associated with different category of PACS, and many species were associated with more than two categories of persistent symptom. For example, at six months, persistent respiratory symptoms were strongly associated with several opportunistic pathogenic microbes, including Staphylococcus aeruginosus and Clostridium dysparicum, and several species known to boost a um, person's immunity, including F. pros and the Rosaberry hominis, were depleted in those with packs at six months. At last, we determine whether gut microbiome profile at admission affects development of PACS. We found overlap of bacteria species such as Ruminococcus nervus, F. pros that remain altered from baseline to follow up and exhibited association with several PACS symptoms, further implying the link between gut microbiome at admission and the recovery process in COVID-19 patients. In summary, our study provides two key messages. The first is that the gut microbiome composition is strongly associated with post-acute COVID-19 syndrome. Secondly, an individual's baseline gut microbiome profile can affect the susceptibility or predict the risk of developing long-term complications after COVID-19. Overall, these findings provide a strong impetus for consideration of microbiota modulation to facilitate timely recovery of post-acute COVID-19 syndrome. Thank, Thank you for, for watching. watching.